a message during playing. Press 3 to hear this message and the time it was delivered. Press 5 to copy this message to another person. Press 6 to delete this message and go to the next. Press 7 to reply. Press 8 to save this message and go to the next. Press 9 to keep this message new and go to the next. Press pound to return to the previous menu. Press star. You are at the main menu. To play your messages, press 1 to record a message. Saved message. Sent by. Thanks for the next Larry. To replay this message, press 1 to go to the previous message. Press 1-1 one, one. to pause during message playback. Press 2 to back. Okay, I'm so incredibly sorry about that. I tried to record something that I just received that has me shaking in fear. I'm in fear for my life. I'm being gang stalked by members of the community. And um, I have no criminal mind, I have no criminal act. Um, it's constant. There's a malicious prosecution underway. Um, there was another assault yesterday morning at around 8 o'clock or so, 8.30 or so, um, I have been informed that I am going to be sectioned under the Mental Health Act and involuntarily taken into custody at that point. Whatever they are going to do to you, they're going to do to you. You have no say in what happens to you. I actually have no idea where to turn anymore. All the public services here in British Columbia don't seem to be capable of handling the situation that I'm facing. I have tried to stop this by being reasonable. I have tried to let them know that I don't consent. I'm not eating. It's very difficult to sleep because I never know when there's going to be pounding on the door. I'm in fear for my life every day, all day. I've been robbed of everything. The last thing that I had left has been completely destroyed no financial resources to keep a roof over my head because of the event that occurred at the end of August. I, um, apparently there's all these safeties and these rules that public servants have to follow. And when it comes to me, they don't follow any of them. So when you're vulnerable like this, they just surround like a pack of wolves and just continue to pick and take and harm and hurt. I can't even go out because I have no idea what could happen to me if I do go out is community mobbing and when they are armed and they've proven to you to be dangerous by their actions taken against you I'm not sure what a woman is supposed to do I'm not sure who a woman is supposed to call apparently persons acting as the RCMP would be in charge of conducting investigations into municipal corruption. And yet when I tried to call and be connected to appropriate services, that didn't happen for me. I'm trying to be as level-headed and reasonable as I can. I need to verbalize right here, right now. I am not a danger to myself 
and I am certainly not a danger to anyone else. I have never been armed in my life. I don't have anything left. And what hurts me the most is that where I'm staying, when they come, they disturb the peace of everyone who sees them. I'm terrified of being told to leave here because of the constant stalking. I don't even know what else to say, so I won't say anything else. So I was reading up on the Mental Health Act. And some of the criticisms. So apparently that Mental Health Act is for persons who are basically moral failures. Well, I am the opposite of a moral failure. I was also reading in another criticism. And apparently that's to basically well, force into submission um, those who would be deemed incapable of partaking in society. Well, so you have to understand that because I have pushed back against what I know is a waste of the taxpayer dollar, a waste of the court's time, I know that the charges are malicious. I know those who have created these charges are absolutely malicious. And because there was a statement spoken on the record by a female acting as Crown Counsel to incite hatred against me, and because I provided lawful reasons as to why I could not partake in the filthy conversations of the wicked, which is what I was forced to endure around 7 o'clock at night on August the 30th, and then I was again forced to endure the filthy conversations of the wicked on the afternoon of August the 31st, where I am being forcibly regulated to stop me from doing what is my lawful right and duty and obligation to do. And because this is a contract, I've been offered a contract of which I receive no benefit at all. Because the law is contract, and contract is the law. So once again, instead of being helped, I'm being harmed. And because I said no, now the poisonous profane plan is to have me sectioned under the Mental Health Act. Because I said no. So I need it answered from, well, whoever it is I decide to ask. Do Canadian citizens have rights, yes or no? Because my experience is Canadian citizens have absolutely no rights at all. And that Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms is nothing but a joke. And that apparently all these public servants have taken an oath to uphold this Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and yet they absolutely refuse to do so. So what laws exactly are you being paid to uphold? You refuse to follow the common law, which is to do no harm to your neighbor. You refuse to follow any of the legal rules that you have taken an oath to uphold. You, as public servants, do have to adhere to the UN conventions and covenants Canada is a party to uphold 
and yet you don't uphold any of those either. So you're just completely fucking lawless. Every day, all day, you work hurt, harm, loss, and injury to everybody that you are paid to serve and protect. And you have no shame. You have absolutely no shame. You could care less about who you harm and what you've caused the harm that you've caused. The victim is left drowning, drowning in a sick, sociopathic, sadistic system. <laughs>